Hi, my name is Yvonne Marcy. I'm an Executive Secretary, Administrative Assistant to the County Clerk here at Orange County. Uh, in September of 2013, I was helping out in a naturalization ceremony at the Newburgh Armory when I noticed a big plaque on the wall and it was uh, mentioning the Battle of the Hindenburg Line and I looked at all the names and my uncle, great-great-uncle Ezra's name was on there. So I, I went home, I wrote down uh, the Hindenburg Line, I certainly knew nothing about the Battle of the Hindenburg Line and I went home and started researching and I found um, my uncle's name in a number of places uh, including the Orange County World War I honor roll. So um, the, I have compiled a lot of um, information about Ezra and the, and the 107th Infantry. This is a picture of Ezra and my great-great-grandmother, his sister. Um, I believe this picture to be taken just before he left for uh, Camp Wadsworth for training. And um, this is a, a newspaper clipping of Ezra and his brother William who was also uh, serving and this is when he was uh, noticed came home to Newburgh that he was killed. This is uh, internet information about the 27th Infantry. This is a picture of the National Guard leaving Newburgh in a blizzard to protect the aqueduct and the waterways that they were afraid the Germans were going to contaminate in some manner. This is from the Newburgh Evening News uh, when they broke through the Hindenburg Line. This is a picture that I found on the internet of the men on September 29th laying, um, getting ready for burial with their crosses. Through my research I learned that 40 men died on the same day as my uncle Ezra on September 29th 1918. 40 men d from Orange County died breaking through the Hindenburg Line which was a pivotal battle in World War I. I, I soon learned that uh, Orange County has its very own Veterans Day, which is September 29th, for just the reason um, about the loss of the 40 men on the same day. When I did attend one of the ceremonies, uh, I was introduced to uh, Mary and Dave McTammany. Uh, who helped me a lot with uh, learning about Ezra and the 107th Infantry. I also met Andy Kamanachak from the uh, Purple Heart Hall of Honor, and he mentioned to me about getting one of the getting these guys their Purple Heart. So I, you know, I did learn about Ezra that he was only 24 when he signed on to the uh, National Guard, uh, which uh, eventually became the 107th Infantry, 27th Division. I learned about him that he uh, was from Newburgh, as mo as my family is, and he was uh, not married. He worked at the SM Bull Company, a dry goods uh, company on the Hudson River. He was a member of the Methodist Church. Um, he, uh, he, his sister was my great-great-grandmother, Virgie Travis Schrodel, who I knew quite well, and uh, she was just such a lovely woman, and I imagine that he, he was as well a lovely man. So I wish I knew more about Ezra. I, you know, I would love to know, uh, did he leave a sweetheart behind? Was he excited and proud to go, or was, did he go reluctantly? Um, who were his buddies over there? Who, did, he, did he laugh? Was he a jokester? Did he provide comfort to someone? Did someone have to provide comfort to him? I just, there's so many questions I, I still have regarding Ezra. So uh, in preparing for the centennial uh, anniversary of um, World War I, the county historian Johanna Yawn had uh, told me that she was, uh, having, she was preparing a trip to follow the footsteps of the 107th Infantry, of our guys in particular from Orange County. 
and um, it uh, leaves September 24th to Belgium and will be traveling through Belgium where they saw action and going into France and um, we'll be ending the trip on a lighter note in Paris and uh, Johanna put the trip together and my husband and I are very pleased to be joining the group.